What is up, guys? This is Chris, a.k.a. No Risk, No Premium. What is going on? Good evening. How are you? It is 10 p.m. here on the West Coast. I am so sorry for getting this out so late, but I'm getting it out nonetheless. Uh, I've had a long day, um, but I'm ready to kill it again tomorrow. Good day today. Fun day today. Uh, the melt-up is always fun. You know, when you got a very steady melt-up, uh, like we did, we played SPX today, right? I don't think I have it. How do I not have it in here? Played SPX today. Really fun. Nope. Uh, well, let's see. We'll go here on the 15. I mean, actually, I just want to recap the trade today real quick. Right. So what did I see? First off, I saw, I knew there was a gap to fill up. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew there was a gap to fill up. Right. Um, so when we dip down, right. And pretty much filled this gap down, you see this. See, we filled the gap down here. We knew to take calls, but what did we watch? That was so interesting. That happened all day long. Okay. It's red line. Here is the eight EMA. Okay. So what I, I watched, what? Pretty much, if you actually look on the five minute, um, wait, no, no, this is the five minute, excuse me. Uh, we saw what we said, oh, here's like an inverse head and shoulders, right? Then we ripped up, hit this resistance. We traded sideways. When we got right into the EMA and we started to pop, we took calls here. Why? Because we watched this pop, flag, pop, flag at huge resistance, breakout level, right, which also was over here, the gap to fill up. So why, why not take calls? So we took the 46.65, no, 46.60s. Uh, they went from like five to 10 or whatever. Um, killer, killer, killer trade. Um, and we wrote them, look at, I mean, just the absolute melt up all the way up, flag up. That's the trend. Then we topped out, we got top heavy. All right, no problem. Closed up here, 46.50, very, very nice. Now here, here's the trade idea. Here's the trade idea. Basically, I would wanna see if we got back down to 46.30. 46.30, which on ES, on ES is 46.20 about, and that was a big, 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 big level, right? Um, oh, I forgot, it does this. This is my thing's messed up. Anyway, anyway, I'd want to see to potentially take calls on a dip down here. Now the futures are down slightly right now, about four points. Um, however, they did get down to about forty six thirty ish, ish, uh, forty six thirty two around, which would have been forty six thirty two would be forty six forty two. So I would like just a like you know, a nice 10 point drop and we buy calls into the, into the support. Even so if we don't, if we don't hold here 4630, I'd want to see us hold here 4622 that we could play the bounce. Now we would play, obviously we see here 4660, 4668, 67-ish is huge. You could play that break out to the upside. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm anticipating, hey, do we get to 46.20 on ES, which is about 46.30 on SPX. So I'm just gonna go add all these to my watch list, like all of them, okay? Cause I have no idea what's gonna happen tomorrow, right? So I might as well have them all readily accessible to me on the open if there's a dip and then a rip, which in reality, there's no reason to be down as far as any news coming out, any economic data that we have to be worried about, right? No one's talking anymore this week. Santa Claus could be coming to town. I mean, he'll be here Saturday at most homes, unless you're a bad kid, he gets a fucking coal. But I mean, I mean, he's coming in lock, stock, and barrel for the good stuff, right? Probably just a bunch of fucking Tito's, but I'm cool with it, right? You guys know I'm just messing, but I'm adding all these to my motherfucking, I'm, I'm adding them all, I'm adding them all, okay? I'm adding them all. I'm going to be prepared tomorrow to layer up, to buy the dip, whatever. But realistically, it would be a dip into support and then a rip higher off of no news and a constant melt up. Very nice. So the rally is on, it seems. It seems. Okay. That's play number one. Play number two, our old friend. Okay, we cut this, right? We cut it because, I mean, just a massive dip down. Okay, but what did it do? It got bought up. It got bought up. Now it's getting close to where? So where, where's that point, right? On the last one, 30, 51, we buy it up by the 31 calls, okay? 
Why? Because they got hit today. They got hit pretty good. So they're thinking tomorrow, maybe we rally. There was so much call buying on the tech side that I'm pretty sure we rally into, into Friday or at least into the morning. I'm sorry, Thursday being Friday because Friday is Christmas Eve, which we observe as Christmas Day in the market. So I'm thinking we're probably going to rip up. Um, super bullish here. What was the highest time is, or biggest? Uh, okay, so look, Jesus Christ. Somebody bought 982 at, at once penny and they're expecting a rip. Oh, it was part of a spread. I don't know what's going to happen there. Someone bought these at open uh, and then bought these right after. Interesting. So I wonder if these got any, you know, on two point move. I wonder, I mean, look, up a penny is 100%. So, you know, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. But I would think over 30, 52. Um, you can play the weeklies on it. Got to have conviction. Got to be quick. But I yeah, definitely buy out the money. So I'm going to throw these 31s. Throw these 31s. Now, that is that play. Obviously, uh, you know, I'd probably say underneath, uh, you'd have to get all the way down here to play some puts because it's probably just going to bounce off that level, um, if anything. But it seems like the market is bullish, so we're going to be looking to the upside here. Now, uh, the play that actually, shout out Vinny, I think is Melsky trading in our Discord. He came up with this trade idea of Merck or MRK, I believe it is. And I just want to double check that that's what it is. Uh, MRK, yep. So it's the COVID-19 pill, the pill. This is a news play. It's a news play, right? This could get slammed higher if they get the FDA approval. Now, I have no idea what time the decision comes out at tomorrow, but this is one where you need to wait. You need to wait. You need to chill. You need to let the news come out. If you buy before any confirmation, it is a gamble. All right. So just think about it like that. It is a gamble, but realistically, you're going to be taking calls over, uh, I'd say, uh, 76, 50 ish. Okay. You're going to be taking calls over that. And you're going to buy into the close. Or you're going to see this support, 75, 53, and then the low. I look at the low too, 75, 40. So it's all really close in there. Okay, so look at this area in here. I would be looking to take at support of a bounce of calls. Okay, a bounce of calls. Now, he put up the flow down the cheddar flow, right? He said uh, they had the one that caught our eye was a $74 call. There was a 74K suite that's in the money. Um, but I mean, how much they bought it for is two bucks. So let's take a look here. They bought them for December 31st. Yeah. 74. Boom. So they bought, this was them. This was part of the whole order. Uh, in the money. Someone came out here and bought some eighties. I do like this one in the money. I do. Or you could buy, or you could put the 76 on there. We'll see where we get to. So I might as well just put both. Okay. Put both. This is a definite, definite, definite news play. Uh, 0.19. Very, very, very bullish, especially on a red day. It was down and it's still a very bullish put call ratio, 35,000 to six. So they're playing the news on it pretty much. Let's see what the biggest one that was bought today. So they went about the 77. 77.50 call right 250 at 26 not bad um let's see if it has the biggest just in general okay so somebody bought yeah i okay, guess so they went out about the january 78 at right 622 so guys they're 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 bullish on this for sure you'd say they're bullish i mean if that gives you any inclination if they're putting big big dollars into the play probably going to get approval anything and i'd say this Anything FDA approval when it comes to COVID would probably get uh, have the most laxed. I'm, I mean, like, look, fuck, there's drugs out there that are taking years and years and years and years to get approval and these fucking COVID tier a year and they're like, fucking approve everything. So, I mean, I'm just thinking in more of a common sense uh, standpoint. Now, where can this go? Where can this go? I mean, realistically, I'd be looking here, about 78, then I'd be looking here, 83 to the upside. If this is a gap on the daily, I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, look at that, Matt. I mean, just a massive gap. 
to fill. Um, so you got 76, 78, 83, 84, 89, all upside. Wow. Lots of upside. Lots of gappers, too. I mean, not only that, you've got, I'm just, we'll get rid of this one. You've got this closer gap at 79, and it'll get filled at 81, 82. I like these levels better. Okay, take that back. So the start of the gap is here, 77. Then we got 89, 93, 91, 96, 84, 69, 89, 27. Okay, and now real quick, I'm just gonna check chatter quant to see if anything has changed and if it would actually add anything to my watch list, but I didn't see anything that I liked um, that had me changing my mind about anything. Okay, 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 okay. Wish has a lot. That's weird. A lot of bullish on that. Not touching wish though. Uh, BB. BB. Interesting. BB. Getting a lot of chatter. Pretty, pretty decently bullish. It's moved up 13 spots. It's the most discussed in the last day. Tesla. Lots of bearish sediment on it. Wow. In the last hour. I mean, no bullish sediment, which is telling me this. Elon's going to sell until the cows come home no he's probably gonna sell until the new year that's my guess yeah but nothing that's really caught my attention guys i'll check back in the in the morning last six hours nvidia and bb have the most bullish sentiment on it interesting stuff uh Yep. As far as I'm looking at the options flow on it. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, guys, that's all I got. The three stocks I'm looking at. We've got three plays. Get your levels down. Get your watch list ready. Put your shit on. Okay. Lace up your goddamn shoes and let's get to work tomorrow. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you in the discord. Peace.